So welcome back, we are going, I'm here with another concept which is a circular flow of income. Under this, I'm going to talk about types of circular flow of income. Now what is a circular flow? Income, as you see, is always there will be a recipient and there will be somebody who gives. So that is why it's a circular flow. So there are two types of circular flows that we will be doing. One is the money flow and the real flow. When you're talking in terms of the goods and services, then it becomes the real flow. But when you're talking about in money terms, then it becomes what is known as the money flow. So real flow is goods and services and money flow as the term suggests, it's money flow. So I want you to just have a look at this. So a circular flow of income is of course a flow of money income and the flow of goods and services across different sectors of the economy in a circular way. So circular flow of income involves the two principles, following two principles. Number one, in any exchange process, the seller or producer receives the same amount that the buyer or consumer spends. That is one. And second, the goods and services flow in one direction and money payments to get these goods and services flow in the reverse direction. So, based on this, we are going to talk about what is known as a real flow and the money flow. So, we are going to do types of circular flow. So, we, we are going to do the types of uh, flow, circular flow. One is a real flow and one is a money flow. And in the real flow, what happens? Let's take just, let's assume that there are only two sectors in the economy, household sector and the firm sector, the production sector. Now, in the real flow, what happens is that the households provide factor services to the firms who use them, who use land, labor, capital, enterprise and then they turn that, they use their services and produce another service or a good which is known as goods and services. So that is, that is what it is. This is known as what is known as a real flow. Talking about money flow, now what is a money flow? Money flow is again, let's just take, let's just assume that there are two sectors, household and firms. And again, let's, let's take it. Now, how is that a circular flow? Now, firms provide factor payments to the households for using the factor services. So, payments made for them. Those are the incomes that they are given, giving them. Income generated there. Cost to the producer, but incomes to the households. And the households take those incomes and spends it on the goods and services provided by the uh, produ production sector, the firms. It's very interesting if, if, you, if you'll see. So I want you to see the top first. That is where I put the real flow and the money flow. So what I explained to you is in the real flow, it's all to do with taking the factor services, land, labor, capital, enterprise, all tangible things into tangible things. They take the tangible and give them tangible goods and services. But in the that's the real flow. But when you're talking about the money flow, it is when they take the tangible land, labor, capital, enterprise, they pay them incomes. It is cost to them. They just don't get it free. They have to give them something. That is the money that they have got right so with that what happens is that the money that the consumers get the consumer how sorry the households get will be spent on consumption buying those goods and services so this is what is known as a real flow and the money flow and sometimes you might get what is known as it might what are the markets there are two types of markets in this you get you know you can get a question on markets what are the two types of market in a circular flow if, if in a simplified two sector economy so what are they they are product market and what is known as a 
so you have what is known as the product market and what you have as a factor market so when the producer or when the firms and the household deals only with the goods and services that means that is what is known as the product market that the goods and services given by the firms to the households and the households spending on buying those goods and services so that becomes a product market and then you have what is known as a factor market so what is a factor market in this the households providing factors of production and the firms paying for them so that's what it is a lot of noise going on